Yeah. What's going on everyone? Roscoe here, we are back. I'm excited for today. I'm getting a haircut. Something you take for granted, but now it's like, I've been so excited for it. It's been like months in the making. Honestly, this has been the longest I've gone without getting a haircut. Apparently in Massachusetts, things can start to slowly reopen. We're gonna go there later today and get a cut. Yeah, it's like a mop. Also, I want to give you guys my official review of the Adidas Yeezy 500 High Tyran. I'm gonna wear these all day today and give you guys my official review of this sneaker, but overall first impression, I'm really liking this sneaker. Also too, I wanna answer some common questions I have been getting in my DMs on Instagram. Yes, I'm going live for the Travis Scott raffle on Friday, and also I will be going live on the Shock Drop on his official website. And then I also have the Roscoe Show, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays and Thursdays, but there's no live stream this upcoming Saturday because there's no Adidas Yeezy drop for this week. So the next official drop isn't for a while, and I believe it's the Zion 350v2, which is happening on June 13th. And then I'm also doing a sneaker sale coming very, very soon. And some of you guys have been already asking what pairs I'm selling and how much. Don't hate my shoes. I love them. That's why I bought them. But I want to invest in a new computer. I need a new PC. And it's going to cost a little, little bit of bread. So I'm definitely kind of, you know, going through my budget. Hey, I can definitely let go of some of my sneakers and make the live streams even better. So that is the plan. Today, no morning breakfast. Uh, no. Dunkin Donuts because we're leaving later. So today we have a Java Monster coffee plus energy the mean bean I don't know. I'm usually a huge fan of the white can which is the no sugar. Uh, I never had this one So we'll give it a try Not bad not bad. Let's do this. All right, so we made it to get a haircut a before and after, look at all this. Woof, I felt like I lost like five pounds. No more hats for the streams or videos. Woof, we're good. All right, we are back in woof. I don't know, it's something about a nice, fresh haircut. But we have breaking news. According to Yeezy Mafia, there's a new 350 V2 colorway on the way, and this one, they're calling it a Bez. A Bez is Hebrew for tin, a silvery metal with a nice yellow hue to it. According to the mock-up and also pictures of the Prime Knit, it's gonna be an all white Yeezy and the static print is gonna come in gold and then most likely the sole will be like a grayish hue. My thoughts and opinions of it, it's a nice clean colorway. I'm all for white Yeezys. Everyone starts comparing them to Lundmark, Statics, Yesayas. If you're new to the game, you don't own any pair of Yeezys or you wanna jump into the Yeezy game, this is a great place to start. It's a nice Yeezy. You can wear it with anything, it goes with anything. And there's gonna be two versions. So there will be a non-reflective version and then a full reflective version. Again, this one's gonna be coming out this upcoming fall. I wanted to talk about it really quick, but let's jump over to the brown couch and give you guys my full detailed review of the Tyrion 500 High. I'm liking them. So let's head over there now. So this is the 500 High Tyran, and this was a sneaker that I was definitely looking forward to from Yeezy this month. I've been getting so many 350 V2s. When I saw this was coming out, you know, I had to get it. It's something new, it's something refreshing. And I was a huge fan of the 500 high slates. To see a new colorway and something that's definitely very different, I had to scoop it up. I took two huge L's on this sneaker. I tried to cop it on Yeezy Supply and I couldn't get my size. And then I tried to grab a pair off the Adidas app raffle and I took an L. Once I got notified that I took an L on the Adidas app raffle, I was scrambling all over the place trying to find my size. And my size was sitting everywhere. But I waited the whole day for the Adidas app raffle to happen. So when I did take an L, I was just looking all over the place and there was only one store that had a size 12 left and that was Concepts. I still managed to grab a pair for retail. I would definitely say if you wanted a pair, most likely you were able to get it for retail, which is great. Now this is the box that it comes in. It's a little bit bigger than the normal 350 V2 box that we usually get. Now sizing for this sneaker, I go with my normal Yeezy size, and that is always a half size up. I wear the same size in a 350 V2, a regular 500, a 700, a quantum basketball sneaker. I wear the same size, and that's a half size up. And here they are. Woo! I will say, these are definitely different. The colorway on this shoe, people are gonna love it, or people are gonna absolutely hate it. It is a very high contrasting colorway. You have that purple, which I will say is like a purple hue, but there's a little bit of a royal blue in there too because it's not really like a true purple. 
mixed in with this brown suede and black leather. I think it actually works on this shoe. It definitely gives it that wow factor. If they made it all brown, people would have said it's just a boot. One thing I want to touch on, and I think that's probably the biggest mistake on this sneaker, is that people don't know what it's trying to be. Is this a sneaker? or is it a boot? This is a sneaker. I would not wear this to go hiking. If you're looking for a hiking boot, something from Yeezy, then get the desert boot. Don't get this shoe because you will hurt your foot, your ankle. Quality on this is absolutely A1. The suede on the toe box is super buttery. You know, all you gotta do is brush your finger on the toe box and it just changes color. Now the material that they used on the tongue is neoprene and also on the sides. I would say it's super cozy and that's why I think the comfort level on this sneaker is nine out of 10. The 500 sole is super comfortable to begin with. It features Adi Prime, which is a little bit of older technology. It's definitely very comfortable. Not as comfortable as Boost, because I feel like Boost is super squishy. This one has a little bit of a firm feel, but they're definitely very, very comfortable. And you're definitely getting that squishy, that cozy feel with the tongue and also on the siding here on the neoprene. Now this one features the new lacing system, which I will say not a lot of people complained about. This lacing system is gonna be featured on probably all Yeezys. I know I'm seeing it on a lot of the upcoming 350 V2s. They all will have this bungee cord lacing system or you know, infinity lacing where you're not gonna be able to take the laces on at all. Only way to take the laces off is you gotta go snip, 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 snip because it does come with an extra set of laces. Yes, you get an extra set of laces, which I'll show you here. You got regular laces, it has lace tips. So you're supposed to cut it, take them out, and then swap it with these. I know a lot of people, especially sneaker heads, we don't like to alter our shoes. To cut it, it's kind of like ugh, nails on the chalkboard type feeling. I wish they did some sort of lock system where you can just unhinge it or do something and take it off. Cut it, really, Adidas? You really want us to cut our shoes? Uh, but that's what they wanted to do on this lacing system. Now, my other gripe with this is like, they literally took the extra set of laces and just tied it on the shoe. Come on, where's the presentation in that? Give me a nice little envelope, a nice brown one to match the brown box and have it say Yeezy on it, you know? But hopefully, maybe in the near future, but hopefully we get like a nice little brown bag says Yeezy on it, just looks awesome. I think that's a little bit nice touch. Hey, that's my recommendation for you guys for today. Overall, man, whew, I know a lot of people are not a fan of this shoe, but I will say, this is definitely an awesome sneaker to have. I feel like this is gonna be more on the fashion side. Like, you're gonna be able to put some crazy fits together with this shoe. This might not be a true sneakerhead shoe because it's not hype. There's no hype beast wear to it. But if you're into fashion and styling, I think you're definitely gonna like this shoe. And according to Kim Kardashian, the best way to wear this sneaker is with a bikini or your swim trunks. So I think that's the vibe with these. So I know a lot of you guys are asking how you're gonna wear them. That's the vibe. Man, I like this shoe. I think the resale value will go up in the near future. So if you do have a pair, just hold it. You know, leave it in your closet, forget about it and move on. The value is definitely gonna go up on these. The fall vibe colorway, I think a lot of people might jump back on this shoe. Now, someone from Adidas and Yeezy told me that when they made the shoe, the slates, they made a ton of pairs because it was a newer silhouette and they thought maybe people would be interested in it. They cut the stock probably in half on this shoe because it did sell out. It sold out first in the bigger sizes, but then when Kim posted that photo on Instagram, the small sizes went. So just shows you the power of her influence right there. I believe this is sold out at most locations. I like it. I think it's a great addition to the Yeezy line. Just need more colors. Give us another colorway in the fall, maybe more of a lighter tone color. I don't care about resale value. I don't care what hype beasts say. I like this shoe, I think it's awesome. It's a great addition to the Yeezy line. But guys, let me know what you guys think of the Yeezy 500 High Tyran. You know, did you cop this shoe or not? Which one would you take if you have both? Do you like the slates more? or do you like the Tyrans more? But that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Dude, good? What's the matter? Bang gang. Bang gang out there. Here he is. He's doing all right. He's enjoying the quarantine, because I'm home all day. You all right? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? No? You're good? Give me the cold shoulder? I see how it is, bro. I see how it is.